Yes, because it has been hey, hey. It is cold. Very cold. <laughs> it is cold. But we don't complain. We thank we God. Can't. This we is can't. another day that the Lord has made. We shall, we shall rejoice and be glad in it. The Amen. cold is a crazy liar. Yes. <laughs> it's a season. Yeah, it's that a season. It's a season. Yes. And we thank God. Over to Bishop. Yes. Uh, Thank you, Baba. Greetings once more to the listeners of Star FM this morning. I want to greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Not forgetting to greet our mother. Yeah. Mother Esther Nyembe, we greet you this morning in the wonderful Amen. name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Greetings to our Father, Amen. the prophet, my mentor, Amen. a man that I follow every time. Amen. Amen. That I honor that God has presented him in my life Amen. Uh, and my family. We greet you this morning in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm, yes. Not forgetting to greet our our driver for this morning. Yes. Uh, 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 Pastor Malungani, we Amen. greet you this morning in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 You know, God has deposited something in your heart. Yes. It was not easy when you had this vision. Yes. It was not easy to deliver this vision. Yes. And you had to stand for the test of life. Yes. But finally, God is blessing you, is giving us great things because of this Star FM. Reaching the world. Because we are reaching the world. We Amen. say thank you for that vision. Yeah. We say thank you for God, for, for, for God coming to your life and say to you, you need to do this. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that the children of South Africa, not only Klagsdorf, not only Kosh, mm -hmm. I believe this, this, this station is reaching so many people. Mm -hmm. Even the Eastern Cape, they are listening to this station. All and we say world. thank you for mm -hmm. this vision. Mm -hmm. Because God knew that this morning or every day in your life, mm -hmm. as you do this, God is doing something for, to somebody. Mm. Your vision is reaching everyone. I want to greet our brother, Brother Prince, mm -hmm. who's been with us since we since we, 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 we were faced with this coronavirus. Yeah. And God is doing great things through uh, the, the Facebook uh, 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 page. Yes. Yeah. And I want to say to our Facebook followers, please uh, know that, that we love you. Mm. And God is going to bless you richly. Mm. And as we as we deliver the message from above, mm. we know you are enjoying, you are sharing the same cause that we are sharing with you. Yeah. You are enjoying with your families. And God is blessing you. God is mm. protecting you. Mm. And God is, do, is going to do wonders going mm. forward. Mm. And I want to say to the, to the sons and daughters of Fountain of Life, mm. greetings, my brothers and sisters, my, my mothers, my fathers. Mm. Uh, I want to greet you this morning in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm humbled to be one of the of, of, of the sons in Fountain of Life. I'm mm. humbled to be one of those who are leading you. I'm humbled mm. Mm. to be the one that we, we, have, we have trusted that mm. uh, as I do this work for the Lord, mm. you are there in, in praying for me that God should help me and my family. Mm. And mm. thank my family for being yes. supporting uh, supporting a, 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 a yes. pillar. Mm. In, in, in my life, mm, mm. and I want to thank you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to say to somebody this morning, this is a day that the Lord has made for yeah. you. This is a day that you have made an appointment. Somebody didn't know what to do this morning, but you decided to tune to Star FM. But I want to tell you today, there's a special message for you. Mm. Somebody is going to receive his breakthrough. Somebody is going to receive his healing. Somebody... Is, is going to hear from the Lord. God is calling you. Yeah. From where you are sitting, God is calling you. Yes. From where you are, God is calling you. Mm. Because I knew, I know yes. that even myself, God did mm. call me. I was sitting somewhere doing my things. Mm. And I always say, it is nice to be in the house of the Lord. Yes. It is nice to be under the guide of the shepherd from mm. the Lord. Mm. I, I want to tell you this morning that you haven't made a mistake by, by tuning to yeah. Star FM. God is having something for you. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to, to receive our, our, our scripture this morning from the book of Esther chapter 8. I'm going to read, I'm going to read from verse 15 yeah. and, and uh, to 17. And our first book is going to be Esther chapter 9. I'll be reading from verse 1 and 4. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it reads as follows, Mordecai went from the king's presence clothed in a royal purple and white mm. with a great gold crown mm. and as a purple robe of fine linen. Mm. The city of Susa shouted 
and rejoiced. Mm. And the Jews celebrated with gladness, joy, and honor. Mm. In, every, in every province mm. and every city, wherever the king's command mm. and his law reached, joy and, and rejoicing took place among the Jews. Mm. There was a celebration and a, a, a holiday. Mm. And many of the ethnic group of the land professed themselves to be Jews because of the Jews mm. had overcome mm. them. Mm. Verse 9. Uh, that oh, the, the king's command and law went into effect on the 13th 13th day of the of the 12th month the month Adar on the day when the Jews enemies had hoped to to overpower them just the opposite happened mm. the Jews overpowered those who hated them mm. for for Mordecai exercised great power in the palace mm. and his fame spread throughout the provinces as he became more and more powerful. Let the reading of the word be best. Amen. Yes, amen. Thank you, Bishop Mpecheni. Thank you for the reading of the word. I, let me take this opportunity to greet you, Bishop, in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I greet you, Brother Prince, my son. May the Lord bless you for the great work that you are doing to take the message to the world and we want to take this opportunity to greet indeed Pastor Malungan we greet you in the most powerful name of our Lord Amen. and Amen. Savior yes. Jesus Christ Amen. we greet you and thank you indeed for this vision you know God uh, I believe that he will continue to bless you because we are reaching the world hallelujah Amen. through this platform and we thank God that you know through our online uh, uh, um, 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 to services, uh, people from around the world they have begun to know about the Star FM. Yes, <laughs> hallelujah. Yes. Yeah, yes. even even my brothers and my my, my sisters around the world in you know, overseas they will say, oh. Brother Jeremiah, we see you are preaching the, in the radio. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, so you, you see, it's reaching the people mm. around the world, uh, uh, Pastor Malungan, and you have to thank God for that mm. because you are doing a very great job. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, and we thank God. Let me take <laughs> this opportunity to greet our beautiful and beautiful listeners out there. It's cold, but I will thank God because I I know, I know, Pastor Balunga, yes. that they're right inside the blankets, but they're listening. Yes. Right. <laughs> their radios are on, yes. I tell you. Yes. And and the, the earphones and cell phones are on. They're yes. listening to this this program yes. right now. Mm. I know that. Amen. Amen. And, and I know that. So we greet you right there inside your blanket. Mm. In, right there, in your house, in your room, in the car, we greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We want to say to you, indeed, this is the day that the Lord has made. Lord we shall rejoice and be glad in it. The devil is a crazy liar. Amen. Glory Amen. to Jesus. Amen. Remember that we are not in crisis. We are in Christ. Yes. We will never be in crisis. We yes. will never. Yes. And our condition is not our conclusion. And we will never. Hallelujah. Amen. Because our God is greater than what we are going through. Amen. Our God is bigger than what we are going through. Yes. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So in life, we will never be in crisis and we will never go down. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Yes. Yes. I don't forget one of the say of our brothers from our one of our African country when and somebody was saying when the brother was inside the lift and the lift was was moving and then and they asked oh, uh, is the lift, are you going down or are you going up and says I will never go down in life. It is the lift that is going down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. Yes. So we will never go down in life. Yes. Even in this season of coronavirus, yes. we will never go down Amen. in life. Amen. Even our econo economy will never go down yes. in life. Even our businesses will never go Good down. down. Even our lives will never go down. Yes. Even our ministry will never go down. Yes. Glory to Jesus because yes. we will never go down yes. in this life. Hallelujah. Amen. And we thank God that we have read the word of the Lord this morning mm. to everybody. And allow me 
to bring to you the message under the subject that our God specializes in recovering what is lost. Yes. Our God specializes in recovering what is lost. lost. Glory to Amen. Jesus. Amen. As I was meditating upon these verses that we have read today from the book of Esther and joining them with my previous messages about the Amalekites, hallelujah. Yes. Now I'm not going to go there, but if you can look at uh, what we are going to talk about it as the connection with the Amalekites. Hallelujah. Amen. Because uh, uh, the subject that we have this morning, that God specializes in recovering what it's lost, it mm. comes from what, what Saul lost in the hands of Amalekites. Yes. And it was recovered by another generation. Yes. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So and if you, just to give you a background, here we will see about three characters represented Presenting their people here yes. in this in, in, in this chapter in this message and uh, character number one is Haman who who was a um, um, Agagite who represented the Amalekites yes. because he was from the Agagite. You remember mm. the, the Agagite, the king that Saul spared in First Samuel chapter 15. Yes. And he was supposed to destroy the Amalekites yes. and he spared the king of Amalekites mm. by the name of Agag. Yes. And then uh, Agagite, then this, this is Zuguluan. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. So from that king of Amalekites, yes. Haman, this is Zuguluan, is Amalekite. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Yes. 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 Which is a grandson yes. of the Amalekites. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And then you can see here that Amalekites, they were a problem to Israel for years yes. and years. Yes. Hallelujah. No, 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 no. Because, and then in number two, we will see Esther. And Esther the queen, hallelujah, Amen. who she comes from the tribe of Benjamin. Yes. And Benjamin is the last born son mm. of Jacob Israel, yes. Yes. hallelujah. Amen. And also we will see Mordecai, who is a Jew from mm. the tribe of Judah. Yes. Glory to Jesus. Yes. And Judah, you know Judah and Benjamin. They are family. Uh, family. Yes. And so we will see these three characters mm. and then how they had recovered but what was lost by the previous generation Amen. in the name of Jesus. And I want to believe that this is a prophetic message for somebody, many Pastor Malunga, yes. that it doesn't matter what you have lost, Amen. you will recover it. Ah. Because we serve a God who specializes in recovering what is lost. The God of restoration. Ah, my God. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hey, yeah, the God of restoration indeed, because mm. here we will see the crown that was lost lost by the previous generation been restored yes. to the right people. Yes. Glory to Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. If you can look at uh, verse, 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 chapter 9 verse 1 it says before we go it says on this day the enemies of the Jews had hoped to overpower them but the tables were turned. Yes. <laughs> yes. But the tables in NIV, but the tables were turned mm. and the Jews got the upper hand over those who mistreated them. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Mm. So in mm. other words, you remember that song Minister Man oh, this is what Jika is into. Yes. Yeah, the tables are about to be overturned. Yes. Glory to Jesus. Mm. And as I said that here we see three people. Mm. So we can see that um, Amalekites were a problem. Now, in other words, we're a recurring problem mm. to Israel. And I want to talk about that with that person, this man who says, you know what, I have a recurring problem. Mm. Problems that come back and now and then. Mm. Problems that come and attack me now and then. Mm. And then and problems that made me to lose myself. Mm. Problems that made me to lose my things, my mm. positions. Mm. The problems that made me to lose my businesses and my finances. Yes. Problems that made me to lose even my material possession. Mm. And I am here to say that the God that we serve, he specializes in, res in, 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 in recovery what is lost. Yes. He's a God indeed of restoration. Glory. That even in this morning, doesn't matter how what you have lost. Mm. It doesn't matter mm. what the enemy has taken from you. Mm. We are here to say to you, yes. it's going 
going to be restored yes. in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Now when we go further, there are a few things that you must understand how God does because this was the problem. Mm. Remember the Amalekites were a problem like, like the problem that we are faced with other people today. Yeah. Even from the day one when Israel crossed the Red Sea, mm. the Amalekites became a problem. Yes. And on, in the, on their way to the promised land, Amalekites became a problem. And in, even in the promised land, Amalekites became a problem. So now, I don't care what you are going through. Maybe you are facing problems that they've been there since even the day when you were born. Or the day when you met Christ. Or the day when you became the child of God. And this problem, it, became, it came all back now and then to attack you. And I am here that I'm bringing a God who is about to turn tables around. Who oh, is about to restore what you have lost mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. But mm. there are things that we need to do. Number one, when we look at what was happening here, mm. and uh, it was when the Jews were taken away in, in Babylon, glory to Jesus, mm. in a foreign country. Mm. And, and uh, Haman and Esther, as mm. we know that they were from the tribe of Benjamin and, and the tribe of, uh, of Judah. And then when they were there, there was this man who came mm. from Amalekat, who was a problem to Israel. Mm. And then this man by the name of Haman. Mm. And the Bible says mm. one day Haman because he was in charge mm. and he decided to issue a command and instruction that everybody must mm. bow down to him and worship him. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And the Bible says, but Mordecai refused. Number one, in, in order for the things to be restored back to you, you have to to not to do things in the popular way. Yes. Because other people do things in the popular way, popular way because other people are doing it. Sometimes you have to be different. Hallelujah. Amen. Not to do the way other people are doing it. Yes. So you don't have to do things in a popular way. Because yeah, everybody was bowing down over to, to Haman. Yes. But, um, but Mordecai refused. Yes. Sometimes you have to refuse refused yes. for the sake of your faith. Yes. Sometimes you have to refuse for the sake of what you believe. Yes. And you don't have to do things in a popular way. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't do things because everybody is doing it. Mm -hmm. Even in the case of prophecy, Pastor Malungan, Amen. you don't have to prophesy because other people are prophesying. Yes. If God is quiet, you have to keep quiet, my yes. brother, yes. because you listen to God. Yes. You don't have to go around and claim, people, claim other people's uh, cell phone number because of the sake of prophesying. Yes. If the word is quiet, I'm quiet. Yes. Because I listen to God. So I don't do things in a popular way. Yes. How it differ the, 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 um, the, 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 the genuine prophets of God and a fake prophet. Amen. Because a fake prophet will try to get some stuff. Yes. But a prophet of God will listen to the word of God. Yes. And if God is quiet, I'm quiet. Yes. If God speaks, I speak. Yes. Because my prophecy must be in line with the word of God. Yes. Amen. Glory to Jesus. So you don't do things in a popular way. Yes. Because other people are doing this and you have to do it. Amen. Glory to Glory. Jesus. Amen. You don't have to go around and try to pick up the name names of people because mm -hmm. other people are doing it. Yeah, you yeah. don't do that. Don't do things in a popular way and you will see God in action. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Now he refused to do things in a popular way. Mm. It reminds me of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Yeah. They refused to do things yeah. in a popular way yes. when everybody was help, worshiping idols. They refused. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I want to say to you there are some things that you have to refuse from mm. because for the sake of your faith, for the the sake of your God mm. that you love, Hallelujah! Amen. Because of time, let's uh, let's run. And then, and, and and number two, I want you to know that victories that happen in private will be manifested in public. Mm. Victory that happens in Glory. private mm. will be manifested in, in public. public because this is what happened here. Mm. Mordecai, after realizing that um, Haman got an upper 
hand yes. to destroy the Jews. Yo. And he decided to go in private, mm. to go on his knees. The Bible, mm. Even before he went to, to consult Esther, mm. the Bible says they had already begun to seek the face of God. Yes. They had already begun to pray in private. Mm. They had already begun to fast in mm. private. Yes. Seeking the face of God. You know, when you see God, you will never go wrong. Mm. Yeah. My God, yeah. when you see God, because sometimes you have to go in private, and when the enemy doesn't know what you are doing in yes. your private, yes. and then yes. you will see that victories that happen in private mm. will be manifested in public. Amen. And when he, he finally went to consult Esther, mm. and that mm. Esther, please, you need to come on board. Yes. Esther, please, you need to help us, yes. because this battle is for us all. Yes. And don't think that you are in the palace, you are going to be safe yes. because this if they kill all the Jews mm. you will go into you are going to be killed as well yes. Hallelujah. until she issued also a decree that yes. go and summon all the the, the, the the men and women and children mm. and fast for me for three days mm. and for three nights those are private victories yes. glory to Jesus yes. those are private victories yes. and they fasted for three days and three nights and guess what happened when they came in public mm. my God yeah, yeah. when they approached God already prayer has uh, um, prayer has leveled the camp mm. and prayer has flattened the camp yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. hallelujah yeah. hallelujah prayer has already yeah. flattened the camp yeah. glory to Jesus yeah. and yeah. that is why the tables were changed because of time Amen. and the Bible says when they approached the king mm. and the king had already issued a decree or in favor of Haman to destroy all the Jews. Yeah. But prayer <laughs> can change things. Yes. Because when they approached the king, that decree was overturned. Mm. And then the decree was issued in favor of Haman. Yeah. That Haman, you have to group your people. Mm. Haman, you have to defend yourself. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And the enemy did not know. Yes. That the tables were turned. Amen. Even this morning, I am here to tell you while you are busy praying, God is about to do something mm. which will overturn the tables. Mm. And the enemy is not aware yes. what you are yes. doing in private. Yes. So keep on doing what you are doing in private. Yes. Because victories happen in private mm. will be manifested in, in public. public. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Glory. And then the Bible says that is why in chapter 9, verse. verse Chapter 9, verse 1, we mm. read this verse, mm. which says, On that day, yes. the enemy of the Jews did not know that the tables were turned. Yes. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. Yes. On that day, yes. the enemy were so excited. And celebrating that today we are going to finish with the Jews. Yes. But they did not know that, that prayers that happened in yes. private has tended the tables. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. And the Bible says, and that day the Jews had to keep their position. Yes. And the Bible says, and the enemy did not know. And yes. God yes. has yes. granted an upper hand yes. over the enemy. Yes. That yes. when they fought, the Jews defeated the the enemy. Mm. Guess what? Number two, I mean, number three, number three, because of time, number three, number three, I want you to get this. And then number three, number three, and when they fought, mm. and then after fighting, and then, and then on that chapter eight and chapter nine, mm. already the crown of gold mm. was already transferred and restored to Israel. Yes. And then because, and Haman did not know that. Yes. Because the Bible says, and the king had to take the crown of gold yes. and the, 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 the rope mm. and the blue and purple. Yes. And, and he had to take also the gold ring yes. and give to uh, Mordecai mm. and Haman did not know yes. and the estates of Haman were transferred mm. Mm. Hey. Mm. Glory. can mm. I prophesy yes. the estates of Haman, Haman mm. were Transfer. Oh, come on. Let's talk yeah. about estates. Yes. Let's talk about some properties around there. Yes. God is about to transfer it yes. from the enemy to your name. Yes. From the name of the enemy. The Bible says the estates of Nehemiah mm. were transferred, yes. removed from his name to the name of Mordecai. Mordecai. And Mordecai became in charge yes. of the estates 
of Haman. Mm. And Haman did not know. And even the house of Haman was taken and given to Mordecai. Mordecai. Mm. The golden ring was taken and given to Mordecai. Mordecai. The crown was taken and given to Mordecai. Mordecai. God is about to transfer some things mm. in your life today. Yes. Under, the vo and under my voice, God is about to transfer things, things that the enemy thinks that he owns. Mm. They are coming your way. Amen. They will be restored to you. Yes. Listen, crowns I mean, crowns that were lost by another generation mm. will be recovered by another. Yes. This crown was lost by Saul yes. in First Samuel chapter fifteen. Yes. He lost the crown, yes. but it was it was recovered by Mordecai. Yes. So you see, crowns lost by another generation. Generation mm -hmm. will be recovered by another, and that another generation is you and me. Yes, it's me and me. Yes, yes, we are about to recover. Yes, what it been lost. So it doesn't matter whether our great great parents have lost it. Yes, it doesn't matter whether our grandparents have lost yes. or our parents have lost. Yes, we are about to recover it. Yes, by force we are about to recover it. Yes, so it doesn't matter whether my parents have lost it. Mm. Yes. the good news is I am on my way to recover. Yes. I am about to recover it. Yes. let me talk. It doesn't matter that mm. what even Corona virus is doing in this season. Mm. We are about to recover. Mm. Why? Because we serve a God who specializes in recovery. Yes. yes. So whatever that it's lost mm. as a church, as the children of God, yes. we are about to recover it. Mm. So Amen. sometimes we don't have to complain, mm. but we just have to be still and know that God is God. Mm. <laughs> because we are about to recover, to recover yes. what the enemy has lost. Yes. Now, as I conclude, because of all my time, I want to declare whatever that you have lost, mm. whether it's business, whether it's house, mm. whether it's car, whether it's family, whether it's children, mm. may the Lord re restore it to you. Amen. Yes. In the name of Jesus, may it come back to you. Yes. I see the crown of God coming back to you. Yes. I see the crown, the ring of God coming back to you. Yes. I see the royal robe yes. coming back to you. Amen. I see what you have lost coming back to you yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. We serve a powerful God in heaven yes. who specializes in recovering what is lost. Yes. If we have time, we will bring David to you. Mm. First Samuel chapter 13. How he recovered yes. what he was lost. Amen. So we serve a God who recovers and he's going to recover your loss. Amen. Yes. God bless you. Yes. You can get in touch with us. Yes. Facebook, mm. Fountain of Life, or 071-622-1868. God bless you as you are watching. Amen. 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 Amen.